Heads up, Something's Burning has its own podcast feed. Wherever you get your podcast, you can listen to Something's Burning's audio. It's no longer on Burtcast's channel. It's on its own channel. Spotify, Apple, iTunes, wherever you listen to your podcast, you can listen to the audio version of Something's Burning. So download it, tell a friend, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and enjoy. And that's why we don't have <laughs> sex. <laughs> um, oh, you okay? That's why they call it Something's Burning. Hey guys, it's a brand new episode of Something's Burning, and my guests today are Wheeler Motherfucking Walker Jr. Holy shit. Thanks for finally getting my name right. God <laughs> damn. And without a doubt, Wheeler's number one fan, my wife, Leanne Kreischer, <laughs> host of her own podcast, Wife of the Party. Remember, I did the your podcast with Leanne, and I've never gotten so many comments that weren't about me, it was just more Leanne. Was- you guys connected so much about country music and your love for the South, your love for the people, your love for everything. I figured <laughs> if I got you guys together, I gotta make Nashville hot chicken, just like they have at Hattie B's. Have you ever had hot chicken? No, I mean, I don't think so. You've had it, right? Yeah, of course. There's one right by the comedy club, that's legit hot chicken. I go in, you know me, I go, I want the hottest you got. And immediately the lady, older black woman in the back goes, nope. <laughs> I go, excuse me, she goes, nope. I said, well, no, I, I like hot. She goes, no, you don't. I said, no, I, I definitely do. And she goes, I'm telling you, boy, you don't. And I went, okay, I'll take the second hottest. She goes, nope. I said, okay, can you tell me which one I can get? She goes, I'll give you the third hottest. And then if you want, as a gag, you can get the hottest. And I went, oh, give me the hottest too. I bit into whatever I bit into, and I was sweating so profusely, every black person in the place came and watched me eat it. And I was like, your hot is really hot. She goes, honey, that's the third hottest. <laughs> You're kidding. Shitting blood the next day. Oh, my God. So, yeah. So, psyched, anyway. I'm psyched about this. Yeah, it's going to be good. I'm going to kick it up a little bit. I'll, I'll measure where your hot uh, lies. I know you like you like spicy. Mm, yeah, sort of. Well, you didn't. I don't want to shit blood. Thank you, though. I'll pass on that. That's why we don't have anal sex. <laughs> that's only one of them. She doesn't want to. What, have you ever written a song about anal sex? Um, I had a song called Butt Fucking that didn't make the, <laughs> didn't make the first record. It didn't make the second one. Why? Um... <laughs> I don't know. I, by the way, by the way, it should be Clark. noted, he is an independently produced artist who makes his own decisions. Yeah, no. So when he said it didn't make the first and it didn't make the second one, twice he decided <laughs> internally, I think that's not good. Yeah, I still remember the chorus was, uh, you don't want to look at, uh, hold on, let me think about it. <laughs> um, oh, fuck. Oh, you okay? That's why they call something's burning. I yeah. scared the shit out of me. We haven't even started cooking yet. How I long? know. I'm just trying to get the oil so wait, in. wait. Did you wash your hands? Yeah, I washed okay. my hands. Okay. Just checking. Just checking. That's the woman who knows her husband right there. So yeah. what was the course? I'm trying to think. Uh, well, you know, Leanne, well, real quick, what would your course be about anal sex? I think it was you don't want to look at me, I don't want to look at you, so I guess butt fucking's the only kind of fucking we can do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's catchy when you say it, but it's not a spoken word record. What are some other l- lyrics that could go with a butt fucking song, Leanne? Hey, you pissed me off with a picnic, and I want to get even, but you don't know I'm mad, so just turn over. Butt fucking's the kind of only but fucking we can do. But that doesn't rhyme at all. Yeah, but that's how you'd feel. I would say, I ain't going to do no butt fucking. How about that? By the way, that is Not her true weird. redneck coming out. I ain't going to do no butt fucking. I'll write that. Yeah, we should do a, a, an anti-butt fucking. Like, you know, with Ghostbusters with the thing through it. Yeah, totally. Ain't no but butt fucking butt. happening in this double wide. <laughs> <laughs> butt fucking busters. <laughs> I would like a slow mo on this beauty cooking shot. Andrew Zimmern, eat your fucking heart out. <laughs> That's what real rednecks do. They put their eggshells back in the carton. Redneck lesson number one I live with one. <laughs> That's not what they do, they compost it. Whatever. <laughs> You're ruining a show. <laughs> Man, shitting on his stuff. Maybe I should have measured that milk. I don't think you've measured anything yet. Well, he's got like 17 fingers of that. Yeah, totally, <laughs> totally. I think he's just filled up with Crisco, right? And by the way, when I look off to the side, I'm simply looking at my reflection in a mirror. I'm not looking to an assistant named there's Rachel, like, who, yeah, there's, you don't see the mirror? No. So like when I go, Crisco, right? Okay, cool. And the milk, I can eyeball it. Two eggs? It's me looking at my reflection. Two Get it eggs. together. Yeah. Oh my gosh, integral part of something's burning. Here you go, I got, I got us all PBRs. 
And it's a good thing I opened ours because I have raw egg and Crisco all over my fingers. <laughs> hey, thank you guys for doing this with me. It I appreciate it. It ain't a beer without babe. egg. Um, I'm going to mix this up with a tablespoon of Louisiana hot sauce. Now, how hot do you like your hot chicken? I'm, I don't want a crowd of black people looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to stir this up. What I should have done, realize this right now, is separate. These are two plates. And now I've gotten liquid in both of them. By the way, this is a hot dredge. But it's good. Spicy food's good for you. It helps get rid of your toxins. Is that right? Yep. Made that up. Yeah. It makes you sweat. Good for, it's good for singing, too. It cleans out your sinuses. I misread this, and I think I was supposed to well, dredge a flour this, mixture, this, then this. the milk uh -huh, mixture. Uh-huh, you go one, two, three. Bert, what, look at your beer. Ah, uh, fuck! And in the beer. Someone ghost busted my beer. How many times do you think you dredged this? Just one. You need to go in there and here. I think, but, but if you... But you didn't, no, 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 no. You what? didn't get it all, look. I'm what? I'm doing it. Clearly, I'm the person that breads and fries things at my house. Okay, do you want to take over? No, I don't want to. No, I'm good. All right. I'm going to put this one in first. Here we go. That's a really... Mm. That's a big piece of chicken is what you're going to say? Mm -hmm. I agree. Really I agree. I didn't Why don't cut, you them. cut them. Once up. again, staring yeah, at my reflection in the mirror. Um, God damn it. Why am I so messy? Does I, you ever notice like you look on Food Network and they're never this messy? You're this messy all the time. But what is it about me? Like, uh, if there's one thing you change about yourself, what would it be? Wheeler, go. I'd make, it's, I'd make my dick a little smaller. <laughs> It's, it get, give you back problems, it's, it's doesn't start, it? But you know Too what? Heavy. It's like I'm starting to hurt people. <laughs> <laughs> what a humanitarian! Yeah, I mean, the, this dude the other night, he was he was a pain. <laughs> Were you butt fucking? <laughs> Listen, I got this is country that. music. This is close my shit. I can't be talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> butt fucking. What would you change about yourself? I'd make my wife younger. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not about. You. <laughs> we could probably figure that out. I mean, it'd be really oh, oh, really? Oh, really? And then you get a younger husband. Oh, uh, totally. And then all of a sudden, what are you talking about? Oh, let's talk about CrossFit. <laughs> I've washed my hands how many times, and I still have chicken all over them. Are you using soap? Nope. Uh -huh. I'm rinsing my hands. My hands are taking a bath. So do you cook? No, I've also just recently decided to stop eating. <laughs> this uh, <laughs> this beer is fucked. I'd just be a little pasty. Yeah? Yeah, on the inside. Three yeah, tablespoons of cayenne pepper. So we're going to ballpark it. Who doesn't love cayenne? Three tablespoons. Uh -huh. Babe, that's going to... That's, that, that's not even a tablespoon. Okay. Three tablespoons. One. Two. Three. I know what a tablespoon looks like. Okay. That was a bad idea. Don't touch that was your, a bad don't fucking touch idea. your face when idea. you have cayenne on your hands. Bad idea. You want to do another hand wash, man? <laughs> Maybe, yeah. <laughs> I should definitely use some soap. Yeah. That was real uh, redneck right there. <laughs> Picking your nose while you're cooking. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, you see, I didn't even notice <laughs> that. Like, I didn't even register with Leanne. I was, gonna, I was like, that's, like, that's exactly what my mom used to do. Pick <laughs> the wiper cayenne the face, inside yeah. my nose right now. You're Three a mess, tablespoons. Right? It's called something's burning, Leanne. We gotta say brand friendly. Tablespoon brown sugar. Get a little more. Who doesn't love brown sugar? Right? Oh, One good. teaspoon black pepper. Oh, he knew it. One teaspoon paprika. It's a half. Half a teaspoon paprika. That's that's wow. Yeah, you're right. It's like a half bad a teaspoon size garlic. Can you do this at home or not? He's actually a really good cook. So when he cooks at home, he, he just kind of wings it, and it all ends up really good. But when he's, like, beholden to a measurement, I think it messes so him this up. This is holding him back. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, we By are slow boiling this chicken. <laughs> this, boy, this chicken is just at a tepid 220. You may need, like, fire. Is it because Bill Burr didn't buy us a real fucking kitchen? Well, you can buy a hot plate with a propane. No, tell that to Bill Burr. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out the chicken. I'm going to sprinkle on it and let it rest, let okay? It rest, okay? And then we're going to start with the next part, and that is our coleslaw. Now, I'm almost certain that it's cooked. That looks really good. That looks really good, doesn't it? I would good. argue that this is cooked. You know, it's like any fine restaurant where they tell you it's probably cooked. Probably. <laughs> now, I want you guys to all see just exactly how you reset in a kitchen like this. This is a big Hollywood secret, okay? We have right now a messy station. Not to worry. What do we want to do? We want to make I coleslaw. I know, I'm a little, no, no, no. Oh my clean. God. It's clean, all of a sudden Bert. we're clean. There's, we're entirely clean. 
No one's touched this side, and we can start cooking. It's not clean. It's wet. It's not wet. It's wet right Where? there. That's that look, baby. Look, that's look. no. It's precipitation. It's chicken juice. No, it's not. Yes, yeah, it might be chicken it's juice. It's chicken juice. Yeah, I'm almost certain it's chicken juice. I don't know if I'm gonna eat this meal. Leanne, I'm a little don't. nervous. Leanne, what no. do we do with all this? Leanne, you're confusing me. It, uh, I, I can't even wipe stuff on my shirt now because I'm so messy. I think I may need to wash this. Yeah. Say so if you think you do, you probably should. Yeah, I, I was basting chicken with it. Is this on? Oh, no, you don't put that on there. <laughs> you wash it with hand soap. Wait, that's, is that hand soap? It's dish soap. It's dish soap, oh, okay. yeah. Okay. That, that's the secret to hot chicken. A little, <laughs> a little bit of dish soap. I'm going to take a little bit of this, and I'm going to put this... Okay, let's see what that looks like. Whoa, oh shit, look at that. Smell it. Oh, it smells, smells pretty it smells good. Bad, right? It smells, oh. it's like a, it's good, it's like a little bit, it's a little soap, soap but. Little, little soap, <laughs> little, little ivory. Hey Liam, will you help me make the coleslaw please? I should not be licking my fingers. I had a job at a sandwich shop in Kentucky when I was growing up. You did? I, I made chicken salad. I remember the owner kept coming in there yelling at me, mayonnaise is cheaper than chicken. He just kept saying that over and over again. What does that mean? Put like, more mayonnaise yeah, in like, chicken? Like, yo, know, Wheeler, you're, these sandwiches, we gotta make, you know, profit on this shit. Mayo heavy. Yeah. Oh! Who's cool with fingernails? <laughs> All right. Cop, chop this up, babe? Yeah. Cut the cabbages into quarters and remove Maybe the core. Maybe use a clean knife. It's kind of like we invited you over to dinner at our house, Wheeler. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Yeah, I like watching you guys work together. Are you done with the hot plate? Uh, I am. I am totally done with the hot plate. Our chicken is practically done. A third of a cup. You want to see it eyeballed? Or do you it's want me to measure splatter. it out? Do you no, want me to I don't want it to just splatter on me. I think you can eyeball a third of a cup. There we go. You know what should be called eyeballing it with Burt Kreischer? Yeah, Three tablespoons of pickle juice. One, two, <gasps> good. Just slow down. Listen, you can, One then you can. One tablespoon of cider vinegar. I'm barely listening. Well, don't put two, mm. Baby, this is gonna be perfect. One tablespoon of Dijon. That looks like it. Two teaspoons of Louisiana hot sauce. Teaspoons or tablespoons? Ah, who cares? That's uh, two tablespoons. A Little bit of salt. Just go easy on that. You can't take it out. Remember. Okay, you know. What should, this show should be changed to Brow Beaten Burt with Leanne Kreischer. Well, you're the one that said I make great coleslaw, and then you're not letting me make it. We're going to add mayonnaise and all this shit. Watch. Mm -hmm. All right, you ready? Wheeler, we like to call this old school. <laughs> coleslaw! <laughs> oh, it's all over me. <laughs> shit. It's a much better way of, oh, ooh, I think we're gonna be pretty happy. Here, we may need to mix out. it up just a tad bit. Mix it up with that. Okay, yep, all the carrots are, maybe too many carrots. <laughs> we might need more mayonnaise, Leanne. Tell me what you think. Mm -mm, mix it up first. No. No? Let me see. Here, Can just you slow put down your finger for just there. a second? I can't, you're gonna cut it off. Here, take a bite. Watching this, how do you have all your fingers? More mayonnaise, more mayonnaise. <laughs> More pickle juice. <laughs> More pickle juice. What's she laughing at? It just More tastes applesauce. like cabbage. <laughs> it needs like salt and pepper. Um, salt? It needs salt and black pepper and maybe a little bit of cayenne. I put cayenne in. Oh, my. how about this? This is what they said to put in. Where's the black pepper? Oh, here it is. I think the chicken's gonna really carry this dish, to be dead honest with you. Does that go on top of the chicken? Or nope, it's just a little side, side dish. A little side dish. <gasps> oh, gross. Just me. <laughs> This is what you guys were looking for. Oh, you know what you need? Brown sugar! Oh my God. You know what, I'm not even gonna let you taste it. I'm gonna plate it. Okay, all right. Plates are up here. Oh my God. Here's how it goes. First, we wash hands, right, Wheeler? Yep. Oh pop. wait, oh. you didn't put this in it. Oh, motherfucker. That's what it is, that's what it's missing. Can we take that mayonnaise out? <laughs> Too late. Three plates, white bread. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here you go. The pickle on there. Oh, cool. All right. I think this is actually going to be really good. So, you ready? This is our coleslaw. 
A lot of chefs wouldn't serve it with their fingers. So it makes this one special. Yep. Super clean fingers. And I'm going big piece. You guys are gonna like this a lot. I already just licked my fingers. Are you sure? Is it? I'm gonna wait. I'm kind of nervous. Oh, shit. Are you looking at this? It's still Perfectly hot. cut, still hot. Nashville hot chicken, done something's burning style. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Is it good? Fuck, yeah. Is it, is it hot? Mm. Well, let's see the reaction first. What was it good to that? So it means not hot to me. Oh my God, brown sugar makes it. You're not supposed to put it on the bread? I didn't, but I mean, you can. It wouldn't be bad with the ghost law. Oh, it's really good. Yeah, is it it's really? actually really yeah. freaking good. Wow. Is it's every a little, episode so the, it does, the kick comes in Whoa. a little bit at the end. Oh my God, it's really hot. A, I think you got the hot one. Wash it down with some pickle bread. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I've never been on a cooking show, period, but I've also never been on one where the guy's so surprised that it's good. <laughs> I, what was what was supposed to happen? I'm more shocked that it's cooked <laughs> evenly. You know what? I wasn't expecting shit, but it's pretty good. It was really good. You need well, it to be. Well, not that bad either. No, it's not. Slaw's really good. You need the slaw to, <coughs> to combat the chicken. All right, let me see. I'm going to go a piece of pickle, piece of chicken, white bread, slaw, maybe a little mayonnaise. The improv portion of the show. Yeah. Take a look at this. That's a mess. You got this? Are you putting that whole thing in your mouth at one time? Oh, I'm gonna bite it up. Yeah, of course I am. I know, but that's, oh my God. Mm, 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 Don't drip mm, on me. Mm, mm, mm. Are you guys gonna, like, tonight, you think, have sex? Exactly Whoa. like this, yes, with the hot sauce all over his hands. Hey, totally. secret time. One time we did sex after <laughs> hot sauce and someone caught on fire. Caught on fire? In the middle of a, little going down with a little of this action. Oh. She's like, oh my God, did you wash your hands? And I was like, no, I didn't have blood on them. She was like, oh. It was traumatizing. Oh my God. What we learned that it night. was really bad. Was if you say, hey Siri, how do you get uh, Tabasco out of a pussy? It says, how do you get a basketball out of a pussy? <laughs> and you're like, yeah, that too. I would love to know the answers of the basketball. With a knife. <laughs> the knife? With a <laughs> knife? You puncture it, right? No. <laughs> did, did, did Siri really say that? <laughs> you puncture the basketball. What idiot couldn't figure that out anyway, right? I just poke I'm all not, in. I'm going to choke. choke. <laughs> You're going to choke. <laughs> I am pouring sweat right now. <laughs> look, at, look at, what were you doing here? Oh, I fucked a ghost. <laughs> Had you washed the hot sauce off your hands before you fucked the ghost? <laughs> now, in closing this episode, ah. fuck. in closing this episode, <clears throat> my wife has recently started a pipe. Uh, <clears throat> here we go. No, I like yours. I'm nope, here yours. we go. Okay, um, what did you say? <laughs> hey, did you just fart? No. <laughs> hey guys. Thanks for watching this episode of Something's Burning. Something's Burning. Is that okay? Thanks for watching. Great job, baby doll. Oh, thanks. <laughs> All right, now I'll do the real one. Okay, good. Hey, guys, thank you for watching Something's Burning. My name's Burt Kreischer. I really want to thank my guest, Wheeler Walker Jr. Wheeler, you know this from the bottom of my heart. You want to one of my favorite artists out there today that doing what you're doing. Lie. You've been awesome to me, man. I appreciate it. Dude, if you can, follow him on tour. His live shows are insane. Find his albums. They're funny shit to listen to. Case in point, Snoop Dogg loves this man. And I have to thank my lovely wife. Sincerely, check out her podcast, Wife of the Party. It is fantastic. It is 100% her. It's done out of her man cave. It's a lot of fun, and she is a great sport. I am so happy with this meal. I've had a blast. I'm a little drunk. And how do we end a show like this? Oh, baby, there's only one way. Oh. Nice. <laughs> <laughs>